Hi, welcome to Business Analyst Guru. Today we're going to talk about SQL, SQL, Structured Query Language. What does it have to do with business analysis? Why am I talking about SQL, you might ask. Today, the role has become very complicated. Uh, clients are looking for anything and everything associated with uh, technology, business analysis to be combined together to make the role work for various facets of any IT project. So you may ask, why SQL? Don't you have database administrators, database developers and other technical folks that are solely responsible for the database related activities? How is SQL associated with database? Are we talking about MS SQL Server? Isn't Oracle also a database? Why am I still talking about SQL when half of the world that is using RDBMS is also using Oracle? So we'll try to answer all these questions to figure out how best can we survive or gather information about this particular tool so that when an interview does land in your lap, although you might not have a lot of hands-on experience, you at least have the ability to talk about these fundamentals to a level where the interviewer is going to be impressed and wanting to give you a chance to come on board and take care of whatever is required. So, how or what exactly is SQL? What are we trying to achieve over here? The term structured query language is a generic term. Do not confuse it with Microsoft SQL Server. That's a product that is owned by Microsoft. In the same comparison, PL SQL, Programming Language SQL, is another software language that is used by Oracle. Oracle is another database uh, tool that is utilized for various programming related needs associated mostly with Java and other technologies that Microsoft does not support using its MSX SQL. So am I supposed to learn two different languages altogether even to talk about it? Not really. Yeah, the simpler answer is SQL structured query language is a way by which we are going to take care of fundamentals which are common logically to both. We're not worried about too much in case of syntax. Syntax is the grammar that we use in case of writing code either for uh, Microsoft SQL Server or for Oracle PLSQL. You're not worried too much about syntax as long as you understand the logic associated with this particular functionality, we are good to go. That's your main prerogative. All right. So let's think about what exactly is. Why am I worried about database? A database is literally almost a half of your any application that you're going to work on. So you'll have the front end, you'll have the validation layer, but eventually everything is going to be stored in a database. There are more complex or intricate ways of storing information nowadays where you have huge quantums of data. You might have a data warehouse or a big data related functionality that is being implemented. But the basic fundamentals of data does not change significantly regardless of the tool that you're going to use, right? At the end of the day, let's get to the nuts and bolts of how the data is structured in a database management system. Remember I said RDBMS, Relational Database Management System. So you would create certain relationships, but before we create the relationship, let's figure out how or what are those entities between which these relationships are being created. Let's look at how we are going to figure out what are those elements and how are we going to define the size of these elements. Like, for example, the very base or uh, at a higher level, you're going to have a database. A database 
can have n number of tables within it. What is a table? A table is a logical store of data. We want to look at data from perspective of how the information is going to move from one place to another. But how can I make that table a little more confined to limited amount of information rather than having man Akash, why do I need a thousand tables when I can put all the information in just one table and move on from there? That's a very uh, genuine question that a lot of newbies or students that are not aware of RDBMS ask me on an ongoing basis, right? So let's look at an example. Let's assume that you are trying to create an HR database for a specific organization. So we have some information about the employees. We have the information about the departments. We have the information about the various designations. And then at the same time, we have information about various aspects of how these are interrelated with each other. So the first thing that might come to your mind is why don't I create just one office HR table where I have all the information about all the departments and all the employees and all the designations and everything associated in just one table. One thing that would come to my mind would be unnecessary repetition of data. Right? So for let's say every designation, I would have to provide the names of employees that are present for that specific designation. For every department, I would have to have the names of every designation that is responsible for that department. For every employee, I will have to provide the details about which designation, which department, what pay structure, what salary structure and so on and so forth. So that one table, even if I just have 10 employees, three designations and three departments would have 10 multiply by three multiply by three multiply by God knows what, because the quantum of information that I need to represent would replicate itself n number of times in this specific scenario. So how do I break this up? Why don't we create a specific table that is going to store information about a logical entity, like for example, an employee. One table that represents and pr presents me the information, everything associated with that employee alone. One table for designation, one table for department. Now, great, you know, I have all these different tables instead of having, let's say, you know, 10 by 3 by 3 by God knows what number of rows. I now have 10 rows in my employee table, 3 rows in my designation table, and 3 rows in my department table. But how are they interconnected? How do I create that? interconnection that is necessary. The interconnection will come from perspective of how the tables are created, right? So let's look at certain features that are necessary, mandatory for a table to exist. If I want to pick out one specific row in a table, in our table, it's very easy, right? We just have 10, 10 employees. So it's very easy to just scroll through. Oh, boom, I want that one. But imagine you trying to pick out one specific employee for a company like Microsoft, Oracle, Walmart. They have hundreds of thousands of people working for them. If I have to do that for them manually, one, I stand a risk of missing out or avoiding the information where I should have been able to do it, right? But if I were to do it mechanically, ask the code to do it, it would not be able to find it specifically. Let's say that I'm looking for an employee named John Smith. How do I uniquely identify a specific row? A row in a table is always going to be the data entry. The column in the table is always going to be the data fields, right? Every table could have multiple fields. But when you talk about the actual data entry, the fields have to be populated to consider that as one data 
element right so the record is going to be consisting of information present in all the fields you have the data fields in the columns you have the records in the rows okay so my problem right now when we are designing this table is what are these fields how am i going to isolate them one might ask why don't we just use the names right i can use the name as a way to pull out information in my earlier example where i just have 10 employees it is highly probable that each of them have a different name but in my current organization that has only 350 people working for them relatively larger number than my previous example but compared to a larger organization like microsoft oracle it is very less so even in that organization i had at least 5 employees that have a same name now you might say hey okay the name is same why don't we come up with a way by which we can combine the first name and last name to pull them out when we were working for healthcare.gov we had over 126 people that had the first name john and last name smith okay we added more complications but you are still not able to find that specific john smith you might say why don't we pull out people using their first name last name and the address where they live let me give you an example from those 128 john smith there were three that were living in the same co-located area so at least for those three i would not be able to distinguish them from perspective of how to bring them out so what is the solution the solution is a concept called primary key primary key is a special data field a column that is added to a table this column is something that is mandatory for creation of a table because without which i will not be able to guarantee or warrant the fact that each record is able to isolate itself now when we do this there are two rules that you follow when you create a primary key the primary key cannot be empty or cannot have uh, it has to have some value and it cannot be null null is still a value if you allow null to be it is still unique okay there is a concept in database called unique key not the primary key but unique key the only distinction is the primary key does not allow null but a unique key will allow you to have null let's not worry about what unique key is this is too preliminary for us to go in depth in the distinction between the primary key and the unique key so when we are talking about the primary key this primary key has to be created so that we are able to pull out from those three john smiths which john smith am i talking about so what do i do when i create this primary key you can either auto assign a specific series where you can say hey for all my employees i want them to start with bag 001 business analyst guru right i'm promoting myself bag 001 002 so you will not require the individual to enter that data the system will automatically add the information as soon as a new data element is added this is specifically created to make sure that you are not going to make a mistake or a boo boo so great now in the employee table i am able to assign exactly who is who when an employee is being created primary key is done awesome let me ask you to think about another complicated functionality now we have three tables with three different primary keys so employee id designation id and department id how do i interconnect themselves let's say akash didia is the employee number 1 he his designation over here is trainer and he is working in the training department but i don't want to put all that information trainer training department how do i make it connected 
if I don't have all those table I literally will have to find out what is the depart designation name what is the designation meaning designation description designation uh, pay period designation pay salary blah 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 now because everything is present in separate tables I can somehow merge the two and make sure that they are able to talk to each other how let's look at how we are going to continue to make sure that the information makes more sense right so when we talk about connecting there is a concept called as foreign key foreign key just like primary key there is foreign key what is foreign key all about what are we trying to achieve over here the main definition of a foreign key is a foreign key has to be a primary key in another table you can use that primary key to be included in my current table and there it will be defined as the foreign key as soon as you define it as a foreign key it will get connected so for example I had let's say three columns right primary key which is the employee ID employee name employee address that's all I had earlier now I want to include the designation details as well so I will add the designation ID the only thing that I need to add as soon as I add the designation ID as a foreign key in my employee table a connection automatically is made if I add designation D001 I can go to that designation table and refer to what does D001 stand for so I know Akash is D001 in the designation table D001 stands for being a trainer same way I could add another column in my employee table which could be department ID another foreign key there is no limitation on the number of foreign keys you can have you can have only one primary key but you could have a master table that would have hundreds of foreign keys because it is interconnected with all those tables so the department ID which is a primary key in my department table will become a foreign key in my employee table again the same concept let's say DP001 which is associated with the training related functionality in my department table now can become just DP001 for Akash Dedia who lives in Shantley, Virginia. Why? Because I don't want to give all the details. What is the training department? How many people are there? What is the scope of work that they do? Training department description, blah, blah, blah. I want to avoid that. So that is the basics of how the information is going to get connected from perspective of how the data is working for. I just wanted to cover the concepts of a table, the various columns, the record, primary key and foreign key. I hope I was able to get to you. If it was not clear, please uh, ask me whatever doubts you have in the comment section so that I could uh, provide you more feedback. From this point forward, I hereby announce that I would be doing one video a week. I want you to give me ideas about your problem points, things that you don't understand that you want help on so that I could create videos on those specific things. I would make sure that at least I provide you a response on what exactly can be done. If there is a video over here online that can help you answer the question better without me spending uh, the amount of time and effort, I would find it send you a request and take care of it from there so the first few videos you will go through SQL uh, a little bit in depth only from perspective of what it is required from a BA or a data analyst perspective in terms of making sure that you're able to take care of it from that thank you very much for your time